Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to Nordstrom, Canada to check out the brand Kurt Geiger London. And we're going to be looking at all of the handbags that they had available. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised. What the hell's going on here? But before we hop into today's Kurt Geiger London Shop With Me video, if you guys love handbags, hauls, Kurt Geiger, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Wait a minute. Hold on. I was so happy to have found this amazing amount of Kurt Geiger London bags. And we're just going to hop right into the Kensington goodness. And there's lots to go around, trust me. First up, $260. I do believe this is the mini Kensington. They don't have like any of the names on the bag. So we're just going to have to play by ear. I, right off the bat, I did notice the leather was not bad at all i wasn't mad and for the price point it's really not bad like 260 dollars for this the pebbled leather was good even the inside leather i believe which was like kind of like a goat suede or not goat suede sorry like a goat leather or something like that it was actually quite good the suppleness of the leather was nice the pebbled leather felt good the metallic finish on it did not feel cheap it does not look cheap either the eagle heads look really cool. Got the like the Kensington crossbody here or like wallet on chain, whatever they're calling it. $120. And what's actually really shocking is that as we're going through all of these bags and as I'm knocking them over, <laughs> we're going to notice that the prices on these tags are actually a lot cheaper by a significant amount than the Canadian website for Kurt Geiger itself. So Nordstrom does actually carry cheaper handbags than the actual website. Quickly ch trying on the Kensington leather bag and it looks fierce. It looks fierce. I don't know how I feel about the size of that one in particular. I might prefer the mini size. I'm not exactly sure, but it's still really cool looking. And it did not, like, again, it had a nice, a nice sturdiness to it. It did not feel cheap. And then here's, like, the XXL. And, oh my god, that Eagle hardware is massive. Telling you, that Eagle hardware would not be cheap to make. Assuming it's, like, really good hardware. Even the eagle has a rainbow on it. It is just beautiful. And what I like about these flat bags is that there's like two magnets on the corners. So it's not gonna warp the flap itself. And what's actually really nice too is that the Kensingtons and the Kurt Geiger bags actually have like their own type of story patch. Kind of like what Coach does. And I really like that attention to detail. It might be my new, it might not be super high quality for like the patch itself, but it's really cool to see that. The bag is massive though. Oh my goodness. The XXL is $455. Canadian. Really not that bad. Those are like over $500 in on like the Canadian website. And then here we got the mini Kensington leather or the small, whatever one. Dude, they just call them all the Kensingtons. 
I love how it has the black accents on the eyes. Or four eyes, sorry. And I will say, I do kind of like the Kensington style with the, uh, that V-shaped quilting over, or like underneath the square quilting. I think that looks really cool. I think it looks better than the all square quilting. Maybe. We'll have to see. <laughs> And then here we got a Kensington as well, but this one has Kurt at the bottom and it's matte black hardware. Oh my goodness. The Eagle with matte black hardware is stunning. The leather felt really good as well, especially with these bags. And I love the friggin chain. That matte black chain is sickening. I actually, oh man. I remember when I was filming these, $320 for that, by the way, really not expensive. Um, I was having a really hard time trying to not buy something during this, this shop with me. I was having a really hard time. And then here we got the Kensington crossbody and this really beautiful, like patent leather, like a patent crinkled leather that's like ombre rainbow almost. Very sickening. This one didn't have a price though. Or at least I don't think so. Get a nice look at the little patch on the inside. Very all round, really beautiful bag. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that these bags are like the highest of quality or anything, but I'm saying for the price of these, in Nordstrom alone, like at least in this shop with me, like girl, I'm not mad at any of these prices. I think all of these prices are actually really fair and really good. You're getting decent leather and decent hardware as well as name brand and high fashion style. And again, the matte black hardware, oh, that tickles all the fancies. I don't know, something with the eagle on the Kensington that has like the matte black, it just looks so beautiful. And here's the shore ditch. The shore ditch crossbody with black mock croc, also very stunning. $320 as well. Another leather Kensington. The amount of different Kensington styles is absolutely insane. I was actually shocked. But it was a lot of fun to play with, trust me. <laughs> I've been waiting very, very, very patiently to actually get my hands on Kurt Geiger bags. And I can safely say I'm not mad. I am not mad in the slightest. It's not that bad. And here is the like soft Kensington and like the XXXXXXXXL. Like, girl, this bag is huge. Absolutely massive. Very puffy. Almost, I don't want to say, like, Lulu puffer vibes, but, like, it gives similar, similar vibes. I think it's just a big puffiness to it. And the fact that it's just a big, big double, uh, double strapped bag. I will say I don't like the XXL Kensingtons only due to the fact that I feel like the large shape to the bag doesn't hold the leather well, if that makes sense. Here we got the velvet Kensington and the mini with like these beautiful stones. $205 Canadian plus tax. Beautiful, beautiful color. Definitely not something that was on my wish list. I didn't really like the fabric that much. It's like a, a vel like it's velvet, but it doesn't feel like super luxurious velvet or anything. So I think again, 205 bucks. I think that's a fair price, but not the kind of velvet I like to wear in a handbag. But here we move on to some of my favorites. And this is where I had a really hard time walking away. 
these beautiful Kensington drench bags. The drench Kensingtons are sickening. Th this one too, the green, this like, uh, I don't, I want to say like aqua green almost. This aqua green color is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely not like a color I would technically gravitate towards, but I really love the hardware, the finish of the leather. Again, the leather was really soft, surprisingly. $265. Girl, I want to go back and get one. I really want to go back and get one. It sucks that Nordstrom is closing down in Canada because I would definitely go back to Kurt Geiger. And they even have like wallets for the drench. Very, very nice. I love the hardware. Like the zippers were actually really nice too. Has a nice black lining. And then they have these really, really fun like acrylic clutches. These are actually really cool. Um, I don't know if these, in this specific one, it doesn't look like the flowers are real. Actually looking at it now, they might be. So you're gonna notice that throughout these clutches that it looks like they're using like real flowers. And I love how it's like a sparkly yellow. $160. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Even comes with its dust bag and everything. Beautiful, beautiful. I even got like my little Rebecca Minkoff yellow lemon um, quilted bag there, the Eddie. Looks very cute. And the flower clutch looks also really cute. It's kind of like 60s almost. 60s. Are those real flowers? I think those are real flowers. No, I'm pretty sure those are real flowers. No. Are they? These look like genuinely real flowers. Real bushels of flowers and like branches with leaves. They, I could be wrong, but they don't look like actual like they don't look like paper or anything they look like genuine flowers genuine pressed flowers that is unique and i really like that that alone is worth the price but here is my favorite piece in today's video the kensington drench in this beautiful sickening i love this orange this orange color is beautiful the chain is dope i love the chain I love the quilting. The quilting is the way I like it. It has the double quilted effect. This looks dope. I'm kind of mad I didn't get this. <laughs> it's beautifully quilted and like the leather was nice and soft. It didn't feel cheap. $320. That is it. Girl, I might have to go back and get one. I'm not going to lie. I might have to go back and get one. Because, <laughs> ma'am, that bag is too beautiful to pass up. And, like, the chain's removable and everything. Like, that's a lot of fun. Like and it looks so good, you guys. Oh, my God. Kurt Geiger London stamped on the back. Just stunning. And then here we got this really cool looking acrylic one. Not pressed with flowers or anything, but it's got like this really funky, funky like resin acrylic swirl to it. I think it's cool. Also $160. I believe all the clutches are $160. This one has like lemons and like oranges and stuff very unique and speaking of unique we go on to the most creative possibly <laughs> of the kurt geiger kensingtons these ones are like embellished this one's got like fabric embellishments um 
I can't say I liked this that much. It was a lot. It was really cool to see. $235. I would say that price is fair. Um, it wasn't like super cheap feeling or anything like that. So that was nice. But it was, I just don't trust that kind of build to a bag. Like I really feel like my rings or something would snag and it would just be a bad time. And then here we got the Kensington with like the crystal embellishments. A lot nicer than the one that we just seen. <laughs> The fabric one. And then really speaking of crazy, $265 for the tweed. It's like metallic tweed, faux pearls, faux pearl handle that's removable. There is a lot going on with this bag. We're going to notice that Kurt Geiger has a lot going on for it. But the pearls are... Like, the faux pearling on it is actually pretty good. It wasn't bad looking. And then quickly, again, looking at the wallet. This one's $90. And it's... The leather's really good, too. Like, there's nothing wrong with any of these. Very beautiful. Pink's not my color, but the drench in pink is still cute. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand. Or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety nine, ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Kurt Geiger London Shop with Me video. That was filmed at Nordstrom. Sadly, Nordstrom is closing in Canada, as we do know, and there's most likely not going to be any sales. They, yeah, there's not going to be any sales, most likely, and um. I'm probably going to have to pick up one of these bags before Nordstrom closes down. I really want the orange drench, the one that I said specifically in the video. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or Kurt Geiger shop with me video as well. You can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.